Good day, boys and girls. Welcome to today's mathematics lesson. Our topic is problem solving. Let's begin. Problem solving. Everyday activities such as shopping, baking, sewing, and building all involve mathematics. These activities use measurement, counting, and the basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In mathematics, we will have to solve these type of problems. To solve problems in mathematics, we use the cubes method. C U B E S cubes. Let's look at the following word problem as an example. In a cave, there are 24 bears and 15 tigers. How many animals are there in the cave altogether? C is for circle. Circle the numbers. 24 and 15. U is for underline. Underline the question. How many animals are there in the cave altogether? B is for block. Block the key words. Cave. Bears. Tigers. Animals. All together. Now this is very important boys and girls as the key words are the most important part of the word problem and solving it. We all know that the word all together would either denote addition or multiplication. So we'll have to choose one of the two operations to help find the correct answer to this word problem. E. Eliminate the unnecessary information. Eliminate simply means to get rid of things that we no longer need. And evaluate what needs to be done. Evaluate means to think about what needs to be done. S is for solve. Solve the word problem. We would have realized, boys and girls, that this word problem would require us to add. So we do an addition sum. 24 plus 15. When we work it out, we arrive at the answer 39. And we answer the question. There are 39 animals in the cave all together. Now it is very important, boys and girls, to follow these steps when you are solving a word problem. It will definitely help you to find the solution more easily. Finally, boys and girls, remember to do the following. Read the word problem until you understand it. Then try to picture it in your mind. This is what we call forming a mental picture. Number two, plan the steps to solve the word problem. Use the cubes steps. Number three, work out the solution using a drawing or a number line or an operation such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Or any method, boys and girls, that helps you solve the word problem and arrive at the correct answer. Write out your answer in a full sentence. Lastly, check your answer, read your solution, and check if it answers the question in the word problem correctly. Remember to do the, all these steps, boys and girls and to understand the word problem. This will definitely help you solve word problems more easily. Mathematics teaches us that every problem has a solution.